What is up you guys? I went on a little mini date to go get smoothies. I happened to spot Sephora and felt the need to go and he convinced me. So that's on you baby. Anyways, I ended up going to Sephora and ended up spending $300 you guys. I was only planning to spend $100 way over budget because I just started grabbing all the things I wanted. So if you guys want to see what I bought at Sephora, keep on watching. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I got, just a like pinkish matte lipstick from Smashbox. I'll kind of show you guys the color here. So it's just a regular, like kind of neutral matte lipstick because I really like matte lipsticks. So that was the first thing I got. All right, so the second thing that I got was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I've been dying to get new highlighter. I actually tried this one today and I'm already in love. The colors in it are so beautiful. I'll open it up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So it comes with like all kinds of different colors of highlighter. And it was funny because my boyfriend was like, when are you ever going to use that blue color? I tell you what, I will find a way to use that blue color. Don't you worry. That one was like $36 or something like that. So the third thing I bought was a... A new highlighting brush because my old one was huge and it just covered like my whole face so I'd pretty much just highlight my whole face. This one will be nice because then I can apply it easier and better. So the fourth thing that I got was a 24 hour liquid liner from Smashbox. I haven't used this kind before, I just needed a new liner so I saw this one and I grabbed it. This one was $24. And I don't even know if these prices are the right. I'm just kind of trying to remember off the top of my head. I got was from Laura Mercier. And it's just a pressed powder to set my foundation. I take it out of the package because it's just a translucent powder. There's not really much to it. Number six was a CC kit. And I don't know if any of you use It Cosmetics, but I actually got hooked a couple years ago after watching an info commercial. I know, info commercials are bad, especially for people like me. But I really like it, so it worked out in the end. This kit's really cool. So you basically just pick your CC illuminating cream. And it's really nice because it's anti-aging. It's got SPF 50, so it's great for the summer. And I actually did get a color a little bit too dark for my skin, so this one will be great for the summer. I normally use Glow Time Jane Iredale, so this one will just have to wait. In the kit, you get a Bye Bye Under Cream. You get a cleanser, mascara, and secret sauce. <laughs> Probably another anti-aging cream, and I don't really need anti-aging. Start young! Look better when you're older. So pick out your color and you put that bad boy in there and then bam, there's your kit and it was only a dollar more. Next thing I got was this peach mist um, setting spray. And it was kind of funny because the lady brought me over to all the popular brands because I didn't know which one to get. Ended up leaning more towards a different one. She comes back over, she's like, how are you doing? And I'm like, well, I don't know which one to get. She's like, well, I don't know if I'd go with that one because... It's not hydrating, and you look like you need hydrating. Here, I actually have this cool tool, and she pulls out this tool and sticks it on my face. And it turns out my skin was fine, and it was hydrated. So she just is like, well, you can just get whichever one you want, and just walks away. It was really awkward, but she sold me. I ended up going with the hydrating one, and it smells like peaches and cream, so that's a bonus. I did get lashes. Uh, I don't normally wear lashes because they're a pain to put on and, well, they're uncomfortable, let's be honest. But they look great. I love the look of them. So I went ahead and bought some for $19 and I got lash glue called House of Lashes in black so that way you don't see all that glue and just, we don't want that. I did get, used to get professional lashes done. But with the appointments and everything else, it's just a pain, so hopefully those work. Last but not least, I did get a Sephora Pro sponge. I love Beauty Blender. So I went with the Sephora Pro Blender. 
this one supposedly is supposed to grow two times its size when it's wet. So on the back, you see that's its original size and that's after it's wet. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Love to hear what you guys recommend and what you guys like. And if you've used any of these, let me know if you like them or not. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.